This is Craig with Garshalton Advisory, and we're going to work through the second half of the Objective 1-4 practice tasks for the Microsoft Office Specialist Excel Core exam. Let's get started. First, we need to display the My Monthly Budget Worksheet. So we are going to select that from the bottom of our tab list here, our worksheet list. Now that that is highlighted, we want to freeze rows 1 through 9 so that when we scroll through the rest of the worksheet, those rows are always going to be visible. Uh, okay, so freeze 1 through 9, so that's to this point here. So in order to freeze panes, uh, what we're going to do is on the ribbon, we're going to go into the View tab of the ribbon. Next, we're going to select Freeze Panes, and what's going to happen is where my active cell is, which is right here, is it's going to lock Excel, so I'll demonstrate how that works. So I will select Freeze Panes, and now when I'm scrolling, so I'm using the scroll wheel on my mouse, the first nine rows all stay put. Anything beneath there is going to continue to scroll for us. So this way, if we make changes at the bottom, so we can go down to the bottom here, make some changes. Uh, all of a sudden, we can see what those changes are up at the top here for us. Um, so it's uh, I, I use this feature all the time. So I have the keystrokes memorized because I'm always doing it. And I actually have macros on several of my workbooks that uh, will set the panes to freeze in a specific place. So in this now, if we want to remove our frozen panes here, uh, we would just go back to the view select freeze panes again and then select unfreeze panes once we do that now when i scroll with my scroll wheel or by using the slider on the right hand side all of the cells in the workbook or excuse me in the worksheet are going to roll up and down for us so we'll just go back to where we were here by freezing the panes at row nine and we'll move on to our next step here and that is to split the worksheet so that we can display rows one through nine in the top window and scroll the budget data in the bottom window all right, so I'm going to remove my, move, remove my freezing um, first off, and then we're going to go to split. So split kind of works this. I don't want to work, see it works the same way, but it does something similar. Uh, and, and, but you'll be using it for different purposes. So freezing panes is great if I always want to see what's on the top here. Uh, that's especially helpful if you have a table that has a, a, a list of headers that you always want to display. Uh, so let's go into view now. I am going to select split and now whereas before the top portion was frozen now I can actually scroll the top portion of my worksheet and the bottom portion of it by selecting a cell down here and now scrolling separately so you'll notice my sliders on the right hand side here I have one slider for the top part I have a separate slider for the bottom part so they are uh, independent now, if I move left and right uh, within my worksheet, they are going to move together because I only have it split in one place. Uh, we can actually split this into four windows if we wanted to, and, uh, and then we could move all four to separate sections of the workbook or of the worksheet. Now, I'm not a huge fan of that, uh, so I won't demonstrate, but, but know that's available to you if you want it. All right, I'm going to remove this split here. Uh, and again, by hitting view, split is already highlighted for me. I'm going to click it again, and that's going to remove it. So now we're back to our regularly looking worksheet. Our next objective or task is to add keywords. So now we're jumping over to keywords from splitting windows. So in order, we need to go into what they call the, the back page view. Uh, so we do that by hitting file. In here, we're going to go into Properties over in, towards the right-hand side. And in Tags, I'm going to hit my two keywords, uh, Spending and Saving, and add them to the tab column there. So now, if I was to use the Find function in uh, Microsoft Office or in my uh, uh, Apple environment, and I type in Spending or Saving, these should hopefully come up and help me find this file a little bit quicker and easier even though that's not what the name of my file is. So we can either hit escape or the back arrow to get back to our normal view of the workbook and we will move from attaching keywords 
to displaying the My Monthly Budget Worksheet in the Page Layout view. So, in the uh, we have this Monthly Budget Worksheet. We are going to go to the Page Layout view, and I'll show you two quick ways to do that. Uh, the first is at the bottom here, we have View Settings. Uh, the first one is our normal view, which is what we're going to be in most of the time. Uh, next is the page layout view. So when I click that, we go into page layout. And I'm going to zoom out just a little bit so that you can see. So now it's going to look like more of a sheet that's going to print. Um, so it helps us view uh, how it's going to look uh, for someone who is going to be viewing our document. Uh, separately from us. So let me just adjust my image here so you can see some of these controls here in the bottom right hand side. So I just had adjusted uh, our zoom function here to uh, be able to get a better idea of how this is going to look. Uh, so that is now in page layout view. I can toggle back to normal view. I can also do the same things through the view option up top here. Um, and so we were in normal. I can select page layout here from our ribbon and we get back into our page layout section and our final task here is to, to zoom in on a specific selection here so what they want us to do is to zoom in on the projected monthly income so I'm gonna highlight these cells because this is our target I'm gonna go into view and there's an option here to zoom to selection. So when I click that, now Excel automatically zooms in to whatever magnification is needed in order to make sure these cells are at their maximum viewable size on my workbook. And you can notice on the bottom right hand side for currently for me, that's 194% uh, zoom factor. Uh, so I can now go back to 100% here in my ribbon, and that's my normal view, or at least kind of where you would start at. Um, we did that in page layout view. I'll do it again in the normal view, just so you can see that it works the same way. So here we are back in our normal view by selecting the toggle at the bottom here. I'll highlight our projected monthly income, back into view, zoom to selection. So we end up at the same place. Thanks for watching. Uh, and uh, I'll look forward to seeing you in the practice task for section 1.5 that I'll try and get uploaded here in the next day or two. Thanks so much for watching.